with tonight's special guest, John Candy. Hello, everyone. I'm Guy Caballero, owner and president of SCTV. And I'd like to welcome you all to the new SCTV channel. Now, literally thousands of people have stopped me on the street and they've asked me two questions. They say, Guy, what is the new SCTV channel? And the second question is, inevitably, uh, Guy, what's this channel all about? <laughs> well, I'm going to explain that to you right now. Now, here you see a converter. Now, the beauty of this little baby is you can pick up everything on it. Now, let's take a look at some standard cable fare. Now, this is the all-movie channel. This channel shows nothing but movies. Here we have the all-sports channel. This is... what is it, soccer? Uh, stupid. He's gonna hit it with his head. I knew it. Over here, we have the health network. This is for the vitamin and open-heart surgery set. Well, that's the fluff network right there. Dumps. Losers. And this is the muff network. Yes, fine, fine. Here we have the all music channel. This is for the pimple set face. That's set kids. Fine stuff. So, there you see, uh, you certainly get a lot of choices, uh, but who wants to fool around with all of these buttons when you can see it all on one channel? That's right, the new SCTV channel. Why, with that, you can get all the programming, satellite, to pay, cable, network, the whole ball of wax. <laughs> yes, SCTV has broadened its programming horizons. And for you new viewers, the upwardly mobile set, I'm quite sure you want to have your horizons broadened. <laughs> so, why don't you all sit back and relax and... Just enjoy the new SCTV channel. It's the alternative choice. It's the, the ultimate choice. The, the only choice. It's the last choice. The last chance. Watch. Thank you. Watch out, Johnny. There's a new talk show coming to town. See it tonight on SCTV. The Soren Weiss Report. Watch for it later tonight on SCTV. He's a young boy, tormented by his own churning adolescent juices. He has the house to himself for a week. He's alone. He needs release. He wants a woman. There is nothing worse, but only one kind of woman can appease him. An older woman. A professional. Hello, Prickly's the name, sex is the game. Come on, dear, we haven't got all night. Hello! Just take the old records off the shelf. I'll sit and listen to them by myself. The old music ain't got no soul. Their secret trice doesn't last forever. Soon their very different worlds must meet. But can they? Come on down, boys. Come on, just because it's a blind date doesn't mean we can't see each other. <laughs> Jeez. Hi, this is my friend Donald. Hi. Oh, hey, Donald. Come on down. I'm Edna, that's right, Edith's sister. We're in the living room, just 12 steps away for fun and games. That's right, fun and games. Come on down. Yeah, yeah, they know, dear. They watch TV. <laughs> Mrs. Prickley. Lesson number one in adult relationships, dear. Just call me Edith. Edith, where, where are we going now? Relax, would you, dear? The night, Chung. Come to think of it, so are you. <laughs> <laughs> How are we doing back there, sis? Fine, but we pass Clay Animal Farm where every critter under the sun can be found. And they're all formed completely of clay. Just come on down. There's a squirrel, there's a weasel, there's little budgies, and... 
What else did I teach you, Don? Uh, uh, rabbits, Edna. That's right. Yep, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. A young man, an older woman. Her world was something he could never be prepared for. All right. Prickly Business, coming soon to your local theaters. Two older women, two younger men. It's TP Drive, it's come on down. It's hot, it's really good, it's new. Just see it. The Soren Weiss Report. Watch for it tonight on SCTV. Hi, I'm Steve Roman, and I hope you'll join me tonight for part one of my personal look at the Kennedy years. It's kind of a candid Camelot thing. <laughs> I think you'll find this show very fascinating. I know I did. I invested all my money in it. The Kennedys, the White House, the Cold War, the whole Cuban Missile thing, Marilyn Monroe, and a lot of hard Boston accents. I even shaved my mustache. And so I say to you, my fellow Americans, ask not what your country can do for you, rather what you can do for your country. Thank you. Thank You'll you. go behind the scenes to see history in the making. The plan is, Mr. President, to have the exiles land in Cuba and link up with the dissidents. They've been thoroughly trained by our people. We'll be able to organize the anti-Castro groups down there. Hmm. That's very interesting. And you say they'll be landing at the Bay of Pigs. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's right, Mr. President. By the way, I, I think it's pronounced Cuba. Jack, could you pass the cream? Yeah, sure. My co-star is the lovely Liz Torres. She mostly does dinner theater and off-Broadway stuff, so this is a pretty big break for her. I need to talk to you. Go ahead, sweetums. We are never together anymore. We are never alone. You are always so busy. Well, I am the president. And you're also my husband. I need... I need you. I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt. It's uh, urgent. I'm sorry, Jackie. That's exactly what I mean. We are never on... We are never alone. Now, do listen to me, Jackie. Things got to change around here, man. I want to help you to spend some quality time with me. Do you understand? Do you understand? Who are you kidding? Hey, caramba! We got to talk! Keeping those accents together isn't as easy as it looks. <laughs> How do you cram a thousand days into a six-hour miniseries with love and affection? That's JFK My Way, starting tonight at 9 on SCTV. Let me just say this about that. You'd better join me. Let me say this. North. East. West. South. The Soren Weiss Report. And now, here's... Troy Soren. And Joel White. And Troy, do you know that nudes can actually be created by the personal bias of a handful of newsmen? What reporters feel is the most important thing on any given news day? Things that might just normally run by the course of events of any given day, all of a sudden becomes front page news because some reporters tell us it's front page news? Case in point, Central America. Exactly. I mean, why? What is the obsession with Central America? It certainly isn't their clothing. 
Boy, that's an area of the world that could use a good cleaning. I'd like to scoot in there with a big bottle of Windex, some pledge, about 15 rolls of bounty, and just clean it up. Boy, it looks dirty. Well, Mark left, if you remember, from Fort Lauderdale. We have a mutual friend who went on an excursion from Fort Lauderdale through Panama up into the Baja, and he found it dull. So, on a scale of 1 to 10, how do you rate Central America? <laughs> I give it a two. I'm just bored with that whole area. And I give it a three because as bored as I am with Central America, I was a tremendous fan of Dolores Del Rio. So, bottom line on Central America? Boring! Okay, let's see what else. How about Reaganomics? Next. Exactly. <laughs> oh, I know a bunch of guys you'd kill to have to a garden brunch in August. How about the Soviets? What are they so bitter about, anyway? Well, maybe their race for world domination just isn't going fast enough. Well, whatever it is, I've never trusted the Soviets, and I never will trust the Soviets. I mean, you just have to look at Czechoslovakia, Hungary, Afghanistan, and all you see is an aggressive nation that isn't ready to quit. And no one likes a pushy Slav, sorry. So, on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the highest, I find the Soviets boring. I give them a 3. And I give them a two. A two from Weiss. Bottom line on the Soviets, sorry guys, we're on to you. Less money into bombs and more into, say, designer babushkas or something. <laughs> what else? What else? What else? Anything what else? positive in the news, Troy? There positive. Something positive. How about the royal family? Uh, they bring a flair and a panache that is so often missing from areas like Zimbabwe. Exactly. You know, when you think of the royal family, you so often immediately focus on the Queen or Charles and Di or Coup. But to me, one of the most intriguing personalities that is so wonderful and yet so understated is Princess Margaret. Now, she has had a life. Oh, she's been through the ringer. I mean, think about it, Joe. She marries Lord Snowden, they have two children, and then they divorce because he's involved with other women, and yet still, she survives. I hear she drinks. You have no proof on that, Joe. Well, no matter. She is quite a lady. Quite a lady. So, on a scale of 1 to 10, how do you rate the royals? I give them a 9. I'm just a sucker for pageantry. <laughs> I feel just like Kitty Carlisle. Okay, I give them a 10. Bottom line in the royal family? Bravo, Windsors. You're wonderful. And now it's time for the Star and Wise Capsule Comment. <laughs> Northern Ireland. Well, I mean, if they can't get it together after all these years, I'm sorry. I've got wash in the dryer. I've got to move on. Africa. Boring. Nuclear disarmament. Now, don't get me started. El Salvador. I hate a war you can drive to. Acid rain. Oh, yeah. And that's Capsule Common. More night, more headlines, more news. And an extra special focus on the presidential candidates. Are they trying to tell us, Troy, that... Fritz, wake me when it's over, Mondale, is a viable candidate. I'd rather elect Fritz the cat. <laughs> Good night. Good night. What do you think about John Glenn? Well, he's boring. I mean, he's just Ike Sons, maybe. What about Alan Krantz? The walking in that. The guy still really intrigues me. Jerry Brown. <laughs> hey, Johnny. Who's after your job? You'll find out tonight on SCTV. Hello, I'm Yash Mengi. And I'm Stan Schmengi. And tonight, the Happy Wanderers salute the new wave music. <laughs>
course, was the Michael Jackson hit, Billie Jean. And if you want, you can hear that song on our new album, New Wave Schmingy. A very new LP. Here it is right here. Take a good look. <laughs> new Wave Schmingy. That's Josh or Dan, that's myself. And that's the name, New Wave Schmingy. And how about these New Wave clothes that we're wearing, huh? huh? Aren't they something? Complete with boots and everything. You know, all the young people today are dressed like this, and that's what this whole show's about, New Wave. You know, the new wave music industry is a billion dollar industry, and Stan and I would like to get a little piece of that. God, baby. <laughs> <laughs> and the video they call with the music helps to make the sales even bigger. Oh, well, let's not forget the video. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't you wish that we had the video when we were youngsters, Josh? Oh, can you imagine, Stan, seeing old Pietro Nilchik on video? Oh, Give me a break. That's I, teaching. I know <laughs> what you mean. Oh, yeah. But, you know, the new wave music scene didn't change that much since we were kids. No. You know, they, we had Pietro Nilchik and Stomp and Tom Chicken. Or the music of Smokey Robertson or Bruce Spring. How about those Beatles? Oh, the Beatles. Huh? My turn for those guys. We can't forget the Beatles. Boy, that was some popular uh, band, I tell you. The Mop Top. Oh, yeah. But even the new wave music of today ain't bad. Oh, no. There's some good people. The Hand, the Hand. Or the TC Jammers. <laughs> you two and the Sting. Or Elvis Costello. Should be Presley, I think. Yeah, that's a typo. <laughs> yes. But whatever, it's what you enjoy that counts. Yeah, it ain't how funny the name of your band is, it's how good the music is, you know? Yeah. And the video to go with the music. Oh, that helps the sales. <laughs> and what better way to introduce the new hit single from New Age Schmengi than with the Happy Wonders first music video entitled <laughs> Power to, to the Punk People. people. Which you'll be able to witness soon on the MTV. We hope. Well, if they accept it, yes. <laughs> and myself by our good friend L.T. Velton and what a talent he is too. And quite the bowler too, I'll tell you that. He's a good bowler. Mr. Spare, they call him. Yes. <laughs> so anyway, how did you enjoy the video? I enjoyed it very much. Oh, good. And how are the cabbage rolls? Very good. Oh, uh, Josh? Thanks, Stan. <laughs> so after you saw the video, would you go out and buy the record? I think so. You would, huh? You know, seriously, that's what we're trying to do, to get the young kids to spend all their allowance money on our record. And we hope we're successful. How are the cabbage rolls and coffee? Oh, delicious. Good, delicious. good for you. Stan. And we'll be right back after the commercials. So can we put you down for a couple of records? The ultimate choice. This is SCTV. I'm from the Chesapeake Bay area. 
and we love seafood down there. Ask anybody, they'll tell you I'm a real fish freak. Anyway, one day me and my boyfriend went to this fish fry, and I was eating my perch, and all of a sudden I start to gag. You see, I've got this very narrow throat, and ever since I was a kid, I've always choked on things. So anyways, I, I touch my throat, and then I realize that I had a bone lodged right here, like this. You know how in the cartoons Daffy Duck looks when he's got something stuck in his throat? I turned around and I realized people are laughing at me. I mean, I didn't think it was funny. It hurt. I was choking. So my boyfriend came over and he held me upside down by the ankles and he started kicking on my back and that didn't help. So then this guy came over and he started using the hemlock method on me and then finally the bone popped out. You know... Just because I had a fish bone stuck in my throat doesn't mean I'm not going to eat fish anymore. I like it. It's just the kind of girl I am. Calvin Klein jeans. Hey, let's funky dance! <laughs> to change the name of the band. Tell them oh, what you want no. to call us. Oh, no. Tell them. Tell them. I'll tell them. You want to call us a bunch of cucumbers. <laughs> cucumbers? <laughs> you, you must have cucumbers on the brain when you call that one. <laughs> oh, man. That's the end of the show. And we'd like uh, and hope that you had as funky good time as we did. So let's have a big hand for the Happy Wonders Band. Yeah. Aren't they nice? Okay, that's enough. <laughs> and how about for Mrs. Vildiachi's cabbage rolls and coffee? Oh. Weren't they good? Are they good? Every week. Every, every week. week. And for you youngsters out there, don't forget to buy the new Wave Schmengi album. And you can play it at parties and have as funky good time as we had on the show. Yeah, so well, let's play out to our new video. <laughs> Hey, Johnny, somebody's sneaking up behind you. It's Sammy Maudlin, and he's gonna knock you off the air for good. Hello, welcome to Mellonville Calendar. I'm your hostess, Yolanda de Vilvis. You may have noticed some parsley on my dress. That's because this week is Greenery Week. Greenery Week here in Mellonville. <laughs> This week, farmers from all over the Tri-County area will have their carts parked out in front of City Hall. And those of you wishing to go down and, and pick up your three free fresh green... Your three free fresh green... Your three free fresh green sprigs of parsley, go down and do it. So, pick them up. Next week will be rubber week, so let's everybody get out and celebrate. Mellonville County Fair, the largest in the Tri-County area, will be happening again between the 21st and the 29th. A note to all of those with livestock. Remember to use the rear gate of the auditorium, as last year on Golden Ages Day, we had a lot of fall casualties. 
I guess everybody knows about the fire down at Everett Olson Public School. Or what used to be Everett Olson Public School. <sighs> the school burned to the ground, but everyone is all right. And here to tell us about it is Idella Voudry and a special guest from the fire. Idella? Hello to you, Yolanda, and uh, thank you. And hello and welcome to you, Captain O'Malley of the 1,477th Fire Station here in Mellonville. Unfortunately, the fire started in the principal's bathroom. Um, but you did manage to bring it under control and the children and teachers and janitor were evacuated safely, isn't that right? There were no casualties. Um, the fire, the building itself was completely uh, involved in flames when Fire Department uh, 1447 arrived and, um, and uh, we proceeded therefore to extinguish the blaze and uh, we addressed ourselves to the fire and uh, the blaze was extinguished. And the school burned down? Yes, the school burned down. But nobody was hurt. And to honor you good men from the fire station, is that right? Now, do I call it a fire station? Uh, yes, a uh, fire station, a uh, fire hall, a send the area retardant application uh, official hall. Okay. <laughs> To honor you good gentlemen, um, the students of Miss Whitten's first grade class have asked me to present you with this gift. These pictures drawn by the members of the class for you and your men. Thank you. They depict the fire. That's very, very nice. Thank you very much. <laughs> Perhaps you could show them to the viewing audience. Oh, um, well, there they are. That's, um, that even, it looks like the fire itself. I would say that is the fire. And these, uh, these black marks are, I think, uh, the fire department, uh, helping to extinguish the blaze. Uh, this is, um, well, this looks like, these are the, the evacuation. This is the evacuation of the fire, and uh, there, but there were no casualties. There were, I repeat, there was no casualties in that fire. That this must have been a fire that the kids had seen somewhere else, where there was bad eye casualties. There's no fire in my particular. Uh, the hell. That's Tim, I guess. Um, that's probably Tim uh, Dwyer. Yeah, it's, I think that's Tim Dwyer. He's a happy guy and he's always smiling. And I would say that is he. This is, uh, I guess, it's one of the brown twins. I will, uh, the look, we always say that that is one of the brown twins. And uh, which one it is, I, I don't know because I always get them mixed up. Idella, we don't have any more time for Captain O'Malley. And we want to thank you and the firefighters of Station 1447. I was uh, looking for a picture of myself. I, I don't see one of the much. captain in here. You'd think they'd have the captain in here with... Maybe Thank I'm you. in the group photo or something. Thank you very much. It's Butlin of the Night. With tonight's guests, Henry Kissinger, Jennifer Beals, consumer advocate David Horowitz, and Martlin Saney's. Suzla, Meltzer, McConaughey, and Cole. And now, here's the guy who wasted a whole week trying to score with Martina Navratilova, Sammy Martin.
One moment, please. Girl, get out that bed. Oh, Mama, please let me go back to oh, sleep. Oh, shut up. I bet you didn't think I'd peek in the closet and notice my devil head. Box first door, sitting on a wooden hanger. Huh? It, it wasn't me, Mama. Well, it wasn't me. I've been taping Mae Gibson shows all day long. Not only that, I come home and I peek in the refrigerator and I notice that somebody ate all my gooseberry pie. The only pie that I had. You know how mad that makes me, girl. It makes me want to kill. 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 You ain't never gonna do that again. I'm gonna kill you, girl, right now. No, no, uh, no. Not the we knew her as one of America's gentlest, most beloved comedians. But at home at night, alone with her daughter, she became a monster. Mums Mabley is Mums Dearest. The shocking, true story written by her daughter, Christina Mabley, available at bookstores everywhere. Soon to be a major motion picture. Feels good. Boy, that was fun. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, what do you think of our new set, huh? <laughs> Isn't that something? Huh? <laughs> that's, that's a, something. <laughs> well, well, I guess I should tell you what the uh, new modeling show is all about. Well, I'll tell you, it's all about change. It's about the 80s. That's right. Hey, it's about late night happenings. Because <laughs> I'll tell you what, if you don't hop aboard the change train, you're going to get derailed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I got uh, together with my new producer, Freddie Silverman, and uh, we did some, uh, you know, uh, heavy brainstorming. Well, we decided to get rid of William B. We threw him right out, and uh, we brought in a whole new bunch of regulars. And those people are the modeling zanies, and I'm going to introduce them to you right now. Come on out! <laughs> 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 this is good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down, you ladies. Come on now. Hey, settle down, settle down. <laughs> Whoa, wait, hold on, hold on. Look, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, Howie Suzloff. Now, in case you don't know, Howie Suzloff is an expert at an improvisation. And he's going to improvise for you right now. We brought some objects out here. He hasn't seen them before. He's going to look at them and do an improvisation right on them. Aren't I've, you, Howie? I've never seen them before. <laughs> Am I right? Am I right? <laughs> Howie Suzloff! <Shoot, Bob. laughs> Go ahead, do it. <laughs> come in close. Come in close. Oh, come on. Oh, you're out of focus. Get back. No, wait, 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 wait. No. Okay. 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 No. <laughs> <laughs> Gill Gilligan, where is Gilligan? <laughs> no, <man. laughs> look at the teeth in my hand. Can't you think of anything? Ooh. All right, come on over here. Suzlop. How are you, Suzlop? Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, that's... <laughs> that was great. Good stuff. <laughs> stop it. Stop it now. Okay, now. Now, Cole, it says here you're the intellectual of the group. Now, what about that? Well, Sammy... <laughs> All you really need to be an intellectual in this group is an IQ over 12. <laughs> Boy, this new format is great, isn't it, folks? <laughs> well, let's hope so, or we'll all be pounding the pavement. 
<laughs> well, it's over. <laughs> ah, that voice cracking stuff you do is really funny. You know that? Well, thank you. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, let me bring out my next guest, ladies and gentlemen. Now, it's none other than the lady that was in Flash Dance. Flash Dance. I auditioned for that movie. You know why I didn't get the part? Because men can't handle chicks like me. Because I'm funny. You know what I'm saying? I'm funny, and men can't handle it. Funny. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sit down, McConaughey. You... All right, ladies and gentlemen, now, I'll bring out my next... You too much. i got to bring out my next guest here. It's Jennifer Beale. Let's hear it. <laughs> Everybody, calm down. <laughs> Jennifer, hey, Jennifer, tell me, uh, is this the first time on a talk show? Yes, it is. I'm a little bit nervous. Well, I can understand that. Why don't you sit down and relax? Okay. <laughs> well, now, tell me, uh, what's next for Jennifer Beals? Well, I've uh, just finished a remake of the classic um, Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. I feel very proud of it because in it I get to uh, act as opposed to dance. Uh, well, not that I don't like dancing. I do, but, well, <laughs> acting makes you have to think. I see. Well, now, you brought a film clip along from Cat on a Hot Tin Roof? Yes, I did. It's um, one of the most dramatic scenes of the uh, movie, and I, I feel very, very, very proud of it. Oh, good. Well, uh, here's Jennifer Beals in a very dramatic scene from Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. For a long time, I've wanted to tell you what I think, Brick. You're weak. You're low down. You're lazy. It's getting hot in here. I'm burning up. I'm getting heated up. I'm going to cool myself off. Finish what I have to tell you. Skipper and I made love. Love, you could call it. Because it made us both feel closer to you. You, superior creature. You, glorified being. We made love to each other. To dream it was you. Yes. Yes. Truth. Truth. And that's just about how I see it. Now, oh, wait a minute. That sure didn't look like you doing that dramatic scene. Well, that's the beauty of it, Sammy. You see, for all the difficult acting parts, I had a double standing in for me. Well, when can we expect a full-time, you know, complete performance from you? Well, I don't know, Sammy. Very soon I'm going to be opening on Broadway in the Ginger Rogers story. And for that I have a double for my acting and a double for my singing and a double for my dancing. It's causing hellish nightmares for the crew and everything. And you know those New York audiences. Oh, my goodness. You know, they just, uh, they really don't, uh, well, they're not very patient with... Well, I... Oh, Sammy, I have to run now. Thank sure. you very much. All right. Jennifer Beals, ladies and gentlemen. Come on. Oh, guys, calm down. Calm down, everybody. Will you calm down? Calm down. Take it easy. Will you sit down? I'm going to bring on the next guest. Now, take it easy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to bring on the former Secretary of State of the United States, Mr. Henry Kissinger. Who oh, is Jennifer Beals? And I was I not done before her. Why don't you put me on after a dog act? Stop. What are you doing there, Suzloff? Come on now. You're going to electrocute you're all of us. Stop that. Now, more than you sit at McConaughey, you stop it. What's Kissinger doing over there? Henry! Oh, Henry! Dr. Kissinger! Dr. Kissinger, please, over here. 
I'm warning you, Sue's Lock. Knock it out. Now, <laughs> <laughs> uh, please, have a seat, Dr. Kissinger. Uh, well, I can't tell you what a real thrill this is having you on the show. Uh, listen, what about Watergate? What do you think about that? I don't want to talk about Watergate. I don't want to talk about Richard Nixon. He was a great president. He will go down as one of the great presidents in history. What do you know about Richard Nixon? What he did with China? What? Wait, 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 you have something to say about Richard Nixon? No. But I admire your shuttle diplomacy. <laughs> oh, he is funny. <laughs> he is the funniest one in the bunch. And you know why, Sammy? Because he has subtlety. Get out, everybody! Oh, that's it. Well, that's it. That's what I get for teaming up with Fred Silverman. I've had enough to hear with this format. I hope I never see a zany again for as long as I live. Oh, I just want to say a word to Johnny Carson. Johnny, I... I wasn't out of line with that knocking you off the air business. I... Silverman put me up to it. Uh, Silverman, that... There he is right now. Silverman! Get him, everybody. He's to blame. Silverman, let's go! Come on! He's trying to sneak out! Get Silverman! Come on! What with the physical training and everything that you, that you didn't even come to this place. Sid Dither stars in An Officer and a Gentile next month on SCTV. Tune for more news after a period. SCTV now begins its programming day. Yes, it's SCTV, beaming its two cents worth across the nation. Starring Joe Parity. Eugene Levy. Andrea Martin and Martin Short. Television that you've never seen it before. This is SCTV with tonight's special guest, Dave Thomas.